ready to get started? Sure. Okay, cross your legs in front of you. We'll start in just an easy seated pose. So find something comfortable with your feet. Maybe one ankle is crossed over the other. Place your hands on your knees or on your belly, whichever is more comfortable for you. Float your shoulders back over your hips. Tuck your chin slightly so you can feel your spine elongate up through the back of your head and close your eyes. Connect with this present moment and the feelings, the sensations that are going through your own body. Let's take a few breaths together. Start by just taking an open mouth exhale. Good, easy breath in through your nose. Open mouth exhale. Two more, a little bit slower. Inhale, breath. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, a little bit fuller. Inhale. Open mouth, let it go. Awesome job. Come forward into a tabletop position. We'll place the blocks underneath your hands to give you a little bit more space. So place your hands on top of your blocks. Yeah. Spread your palms wide to create a sturdy foundation for your upper body, and then we'll go through a few cat cows to open and strengthen the spine. Inhale, cow pose, lower your belly down. Open through your chest and gaze up towards the sky. Yeah, just a gentle back bend here to bring some juice into your joints. Exhale, cat pose, reverse that motion by tucking your chin into your chest, round through your upper back. Nice job, lengthen up through your arms. Couple more like that. Inhale, cow pose, lower down, hammock through your spine. Good, exhale, cat pose, tuck and curl. Use your breath to continue the movements. One more time, inhale, cow pose, lower down. Nice, open your throat, open your chest muscles. Exhale, cat pose, tuck and curl. Feel the back of your heart push up to the sky. Nicely done. From here, move the blocks back to the side of your mat. We won't need them for a little bit longer. Yeah, and then press back to a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high, and press your thighs towards the back of the room. Bend and straighten your knees here to bring some warmth into your calves and your hamstrings. Loosen through the back line of your body. Spread your hands wide against your mat to create a strong foundation. Nice, that's it. Good, lengthen your neck. Feel your biceps rotate in towards your ears. You can spread and open through your upper back. Good. Create a long spine here by softening through your knees. Know that it's okay if your heels don't touch the floor. More important to have a long straight spine. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. That's beautiful. One more time, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, soften your knees and walk your hands to the back of your mat, right by your feet, yeah. When you arrive, separate your feet wider than hip width distance, so give yourself a lot of space. Then soften your knees even more, deep bend in your knees and drape your belly over your thighs. Yeah, then grab for opposite elbow or opposite bicep with your hands and relax the back of your neck, ragdoll pose, yeah. Feel your weight shift forward into the balls of your feet. Keep a generous bend in your knees to support yourself. And in this pose, you can accommodate your belly by widening your feet even more. Maybe it's more comfortable to just have them hip width distance apart. This pose is to release your low back, which can take on a lot of pressure throughout pregnancy. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice, bring your hands down to your mat. Bring your feet just a little bit closer together. Inhale, slowly roll up to stand. Give yourself enough time to arrive. Feel the notches on your spine stack on top of each other. Good. Bring your hands to your heart center. Anjali Mudra and close your eyes. This is the part of class where we set an intention. Today our focus is going to be on self-care. Throughout these next months, you will be taking on so much, experiencing change, experiencing this special time in your life. Know that these next poses, this next practice is for you to practice care for you. Take one breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good, blink open your eyes. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms high overhead. Breathe here. 
Find a strong leg, so energize up through your inner thighs. Drop your tailbone down to make some space in your lower spine. Nice, that's beautiful. Lift up through your chest. Spin your pinky fingers in to open up space in your shoulder girdle. So your arms might be a little bit further apart here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. Peel your right palm back and extend your left palm forward. Good, stay here. Feel an opening through your chest muscles, a release in your spine as you twist from the middle part of your core. Inhale, back to center, reach both arms high to the sky. Let's switch sides. Exhale, open twist to the left. Yeah, keep energizing through your legs. Plug your feet down to create a sturdy foundation. Inhale, back to center, rise up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees a lot on the way down. You can widen your feet to accommodate your belly. Good, we'll flow that a few times, one breath per movement. Inhale to a halfway lift. Press your palms against your thighs. Rise up so you can create a flat spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up to the sky. Take your time with it. There's no rush. Exhale, open twist to the right. Peel right palm back. Extend left palm forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up. Exhale, open twist left. Peel your left palm back. Good work. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down to your mat. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your palms against your thighs. Good, exhale, forward fold. One more time through, inhale, mountain pose, rise up to the sky. Good, exhale, open twist right. Use your breath here, inhale, mountain pose, up to the sky. Exhale, open twist left. Nicely done, inhale, mountain pose, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, forward fold, soften your knees a lot. Well done. Inhale to a halfway lift, press your palms against your thighs. With your exhale, climb your hands forward for downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. And get readjusted in your inverted V shape. Take one breath in through your nose. Open mouth exhale. Inhale, lift your right foot off of your mat. And pause here for a moment to feel the engagement in your right glute. Flex your toes towards your face. One more breath in, exhale, low lunge. Bring your foot forward to the top of your mat between your hands. Might need to pick it up and actually move it there. That's totally fine. Keep your back knee lifted, inhale, crescent lunge. Use your core strength, your thigh strength to lift up through your chest. Reach your arms to the sky. Take a breath in, exhale, warrior two. Open up your body. Yeah, spin your back heel down to your mat and readjust your feet. Good. Spread your arms open. Take a lot of space up with your body. Squeeze through your right glute to open through your front thigh. Lengthen up through both sides of your waist. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up with your right hand like you're painting the sky. Pause here to breathe. Maintain the integrity in your front lunge and balloon open through your side ribs. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands down to your mat for high plank. Plant your palms shoulder width distance apart and join your feet at the back of your space. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, press back. Nicely done. Let's take all of that on the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Pause here, squeeze through your left glute. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge, gently step forward to the top of your mat. Take as much time as you need arriving. Inhale, crescent lunge. Use your core and your leg strength to lift up through your chest and breathe here. Nice, good. Squeeze your inner thighs together and pack your outer hips into the midline of your body. Your lower body is strong to hold you up. Take an inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up towards the side of the room. Readjust your feet so your back foot is parallel with the short edge of your mat. That's beautiful. Spread your arms open and gaze over your front middle finger. Yeah, this pose is all about strength and power and you have both. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up with your left hand and pause here. Good, maintain the lunge in your front knee. You'll start to feel this in your front quad. Energize through your back leg, lift up through your side ribs. Breath in, exhale, hands to your mat for high plank. Spread your fingers wide, nice, good work. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, press your thighs towards the back of the room. 
Take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, let's flow through that one time, one breath per movement. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, bring your foot through to the top of your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your chest up. Good, exhale, warrior two, open up your body. That's it. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up. Exhale, hands to your mat for high plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nicely done. Other side, inhale, extend your left foot up. Exhale, low lunge, bring it forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, use your strength to lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, open up your body. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, reach up with your left hand. Exhale, high plank, plant your palms on your mat and join your feet at the back of your space. Great job, take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, pause here for a breath, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good, lower down to your knees. We'll take three breaths here to recalibrate before we move on. Have a seat on your heels. Place your hands on your thighs or your belly. Close your eyes. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Two more, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more, a little bit slower, big breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Awesome job. Plant your palms on your mat, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Take as much time as you need to get there. Good, inhale, halfway lift, press your palms against your thighs, create a long straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sit back into your glutes and your thighs, lift your chest and arms up. Beautiful, plug your feet down into your mat and squeeze your inner thighs together. Drop your tailbone down and lift up through your chest. Yeah, so spin your pinky fingers in to open up space in your shoulders. Nice work. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, open, twist to the right. Peel your right palm back. Extend your left palm forward. Good. Tuck your left hip back in space. Beautiful. Inhale, back to chair pose. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open, twist to the left. Peel left palm back. Extend your right palm forward. Maintain strong thighs, keep pulling your legs together. Inhale, back to chair pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hands through your heart. Good, inhale, halfway lift, press your palms up against your thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog, plant your palms and step your feet back. Nicely done. Good, take one breath in, open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift your right foot up off of your mat. Exhale, low lunge, bring your foot through to the top of your space. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise up to the sky, we've been here before. Nice, exhale, warrior two, you guys know this one. Open up your body. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes slightly out. Reach your arms up to the sky. Yeah, stretch through your belly, rise up through your chest. Exhale, horse pose, bend your knees. Good, bring your hands to your heart center or on your inner thighs for a little bit of support. Drop your tailbone down. Good, now wrap your thighs towards the back of the room to feel the stretch through your inner thighs. Good, nice work you guys. Inhale, star pose, rise back up. Here, point your toes towards the knee so your feet are parallel with the short edges of your mat. Inhale, tiny back bend, lift your heart up. Exhale, forward fold, dive your heart down towards the ground, bend your knees on your way for support, and hold what's available here. So maybe that's just the mat in front of you, maybe it's the outside edges of your feet or your ankles. And you can adjust the distance between your feet to accommodate your belly. Use this opportunity to stretch through your hamstrings and your inner thighs, and to release some pressure on your lower back. Allow the back of your neck to relax. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, 
soften through your knees and reach your arms out to a T. We'll start to slowly rise up. And inhale, lift. Exhale back to warrior two, facing the front of your mat. So point your right toes forward. Good, straighten your front knee. Inhale, reverse triangle. Sweep your right arm up to the sky. Two straight legs, slide your back arm down your back leg. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, hands down to your mat for downward facing dog. Join your feet at the back of your space and press your thighs towards the back of the room. How are you ladies doing? Right. Good, awesome. Inhale, reach your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, bring your foot forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, crescent lunge as you're ready. Good, exhale, warrior two, open up your body. Good, nice work. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes slightly out, rise up to the sky. We'll take a few side body stretches here, so slide your front arm down your front leg. Extend your back arm up overhead. Good, keep working your hips forward to avoid crunching in your low spine. Inhale, come back up to center. Other side, drop your back arm down your back leg, lift up and over with your front arm. Soften the area around your neck. Inhale, rise back up. Good, make sure your toes are parallel, rather your feet are parallel with the shortage of your back. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, bow forward for a second time, standing wide-legged forward fold. Again, hold what's available here. Second opportunity to work into your hamstrings, into your inner thighs. Good, ground the ball lines of your feet down into your mat so you can lean your weight forward just slightly so your hips can stack over your heels. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, soften through your knees. Prepare to rise by extending your arms out to a T. Inhale, slowly lift up with your chest. Exhale, warrior two towards the front of the room. Inhale, reverse triangle, two straight legs. Sweep your left arm up to the sky and slide your back arm down. Exhale, hands to your mat for downward facing dog. Good, take one breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good, lower down to your knees. We'll move into some seated stretches here. Just like tree pose, extend one leg out to the side and plant your inside foot against your extended thigh. Good, give yourself enough space here to accommodate your belly. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead, rather your back arm, your left arm overhead, and then extend over for a big side body stretch. Yeah. Keep your sits bones rooted down into your mat. If you feel one sit bone start to lift up, that's a clue from your body to just come out of the stretch by a couple inches. You should feel a delicious opening through the left side of your waist. Make some space around your neck. Good, nice work you guys. Take two more breaths here, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more big breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Good, inhale, rise back up, and we'll switch our legs. Extend your left leg out to give yourself enough space here, get comfortable. Good, and then inhale, extend your right arm overhead, slide your left arm down your left leg. Feel that big juicy opening through your right rib cage, the little muscles between your ribs, give them some space to open. Yeah, and you'll feel this through the back of your left quad as well, your hamstring muscles. Option to look up towards your right bicep or maybe down towards your left knee if that's more comfortable in your body. Two more breaths together. Inhale. Deep exhale. One more big inhale. Deep exhale. Good. Inhale, slowly come out of this stretch. And then reposition yourself so you're facing this way. And we'll move into our final resting posture here. So let's get set up with our straps. If you don't have a strap at home, that's totally fine. You don't absolutely need one, but it can help intensify the stretch in a way that feels great. So start off in just Baddha Konasana. So butterfly your knees, press the soles of your feet together to touch, and then I'll help you get sorted here with your strap. If any of this starts to feel like too much, just let me know. We can remove a layer. All right, put this underneath your feet, see? then you might need to grab this later, so just keep that there. 
<laughs> awesome. All right, so with your blocks, take your two blocks, and the first block you'll place underneath your spine, the hot dog style. So start to lay back, and I'll find the bottom of your bra strap, and I'll connect that here. Good, and then the other block will be underneath your head. Just feel like you have enough space to lean back. How's that? Is that all right? So in this position, you can do whatever feels good with your arms, maybe right by your sides, maybe up to a T feels good. This posture allows you to open through your hips and provide some support for your upper back, your lower back with the strap. Close your eyes and take this opportunity just to connect with how you feel. This moment is beautiful and peaceful because there's nowhere you need to be. And there's nothing you need to be doing. Give yourself some time here to take care of you. Let's take a few breaths together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, release it. Two more. Big breath in. yourself to breathe naturally here. Keep your eyes closed. I'm just here for a couple more moments. some space to remove the strap. Amazing. Alright, so to finish class for Shavasana, lay down on your mat on your left side. You can use your blocks, your towel, in whatever way is comfortable for you. Might feel good to use your left bicep as a pillow. Flag me over if you need some help getting comfortable. And laying on your left side will allow nutrients to flow to the placenta. A block between your knees might feel good. Close your eyes and allow your breath to be natural. And remember in the year that there's nothing you need to be achieving. There's nothing you need to be doing besides practicing self-care. Which means just lying here, just being. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. Take as much time you need, as you need here in this position. The space is yours to rest. That's a really good recommendation. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. That's, especially we had them. Yeah. So that would have been great. Awesome. Thank you for the yeah. idea. How about for you? Anything would have felt good or things that didn't feel as good? 
Um, it all felt really good. <laughs> um, especially stretching out my shoulders with the block behind my upper back. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, I definitely had like lower back pain throughout my pregnancy. But okay. then what I've noticed also is that I've been having upper back pain, and which is like something I've never really experienced. It's usually like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, why is it hurt up there? Interesting. So the block right in between the shoulder blades felt so good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome to hear. Yeah. <laughs>